Germany says that Scholz's visit to China prevented Russia's nuclear strike on Ukraine. Western media, including German, reported that in 2022, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz arrived in Beijing and helped convince Chinese leader Xi Jinping to influence Putin not to use nuclear weapons against Ukraine. But Build publication disagrees with such statements. Earlier, the leader of the SPD faction in the Bundestag, Rolf Mutzenich, said that Ukraine and the rest of Europe should thank Scholz as his visit helped prevent a possible Russian nuclear strike on Ukraine on Putin's orders. However, Bild notes that its columnist Philip Piatov casts doubt on this and recalls that earlier the US media had written that in the autumn of 2022, the US feared a nuclear strike by Russia against Ukraine. China was involved in preventing it. After Olaf Scholz's visit to Beijing, the Chinese authorities called for the non-use of nuclear weapons. As early as 2022, the American media wrote that Scholz's role in Beijing was minimal and that he only passed on information from Washington. In response to Bill's request, the Chancellor's office quoted his words from November 2022 after a meeting with Xi Jinping. In Beijing, I asked President Xi to use his influence on Russia. On one hand, the Americans threatened the Russian Federation. On the other hand, and the Chancellor was involved in this, we managed to get China and India to sign a declaration in which they spoke out against the use of nuclear weapons in general and in Ukraine in particular. Olaf Scholz certainly contributed to the change in China's position. But in any case, Scholz did not prevent a nuclear war, as there were no signs that a nuclear strike was imminent. Military expert Carlo Masala, a professor at the Bundeswehr University in Munich, told Bild, Earlier, it was reported that if the Russian president believes that it is enough for him to just sit out this war and we will weaken our support, then he miscalculated. Also, German Chancellor Olaf Scholz announced the creation of a long-range rocket artillery coalition for Ukraine and the Bundestag reported that Scholz would eventually provide Ukraine with Taurus missiles. France raises terrorism threat level. Threat of the Islamic State is rising again. France has raised the terrorism alert level across the country following an attack on a packed music venue in Russia, which left 137 people dead. Last Friday, four Tajik nationals opened fire inside the Crocus City Hall outside Moscow and set the building on fire. All terrorists were later detained while attempting to flee by car to Ukraine, according to President Vladimir Putin. The jihadist group Islamic State Khorasan province claimed responsibility for the attack. Moscow has so far not confirmed the group's involvement. Following the attack in Moscow, the French president has convened a meeting of the National Defense and Security Council this evening. French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal wrote on X, in light of the Islamic State's claim that it was responsible for the attack and the threats looming over our country, we have decided to raise the Vidi Pirates plan to the highest level, the Prime Minister added. France has been living under reinforced security measures since the series of terrorist attacks in January 2015, when a group of Islamists killed 17 people in Paris and its suburbs. The government responded by enacting Operation Sentinel, which saw the deployment of armed soldiers to patrol the French capital. One of the deadliest Islamist attacks in recent memory came in November 2015, when suicide bombers and gunmen killed 130 people in Paris. For many, the horrors of Islamic State ended when US-led military campaign collapsed the group's self-styled caliphate in 2019. But five years later, tens of thousands of civilians are still being kept in camps, including the al hol which are filled with the families of Islamic State militants and others inadvertently swept up in the chaos of northeast Syria. In front of the Crocus City Hall shopping center, where the terrorist incident took place in the Moscow region of Russia, the memory of those who died in the incident was commemorated. During the action called Cranes, thousands of people gathered in front of the shopping center, lit candles, and observed a minute of silence, flowers and children's toys were piled in front of the concert hall where the terrorist attack took place. Cranes action was held in memory of the dead in different cities of Russia. Images of the actions were shown on the screen installed in front of Crocus City Hall, but it should be noted that on March 22, more than 130 people were killed and more than 150 were injured during the terrorist attack that took place in the Crocus City Hall shopping center. As a result of the fire, the concert hall where the incident took place collapsed.